We good? Yeah. Uh, what's going on, guys? I'm here with Patrick Willis. Uh, I just want to let you know, straight up, you're my brother's favorite player, diehard 49ers fan. <laughs> he loves you to death, so I'm going I'm to take a picture. I'm going to send it to him, and I, I wish he was here with me. But uh, let's get right into it. What is your favorite part about, you know, just being back here, signing some autographs, like seeing the other guys, or what do you like about this? Yeah, it's a little bit of everything. It's always good to, you know, to see the other guys, see guys you played with, guys that were older that you looked up to when you were playing, and then just the opportunity to come and, you know, sign some autographs, and hopefully, you know, they get into the hands of those who really appreciate it, and um, it's an honor, man. It's an honor that somebody still wants the autographs. So. It's crazy, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, so I got to ask you, obviously, your 49ers were made a deep run this year. How do you feel about how do you feel about their season? You still keeping in, in you know what do you feel yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I played it. You know, I watched it, um, watched it a lot more uh, last year. I um, feel like you know, obviously, every year is a new year. Um, you know, they got they got some decisions to make. You know, uh, off season is always a big, mm -hmm. big a big thing uh, with free agency. Also, guys with contract extensions. Yeah. And um, so, no, I, honestly, I just wish them all the best and That's always rooting for them. That's cool. They should be pretty good this year. Who knows what they're gonna do with the quarterback? But yeah. that's a big decision coming up. <laughs> that's gonna be interesting. What, 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 what's your take? What, what you feeling? I mean, it's gonna be hard to trade Jimmy G just because of the money. He's a, mm -hmm. he's, he's a good quarterback. Yeah, Everybody likes yeah. Jimmy G. He's a winner. Mm -hmm. That's what he does. It's hard to find a winner. Yeah, yeah. But you got Trey Lance there for a reason, so he's yeah. got to get his chance at some point. You know, you, you're absolutely right. Um, you know, with that being said, you know, history is interesting. You've seen it where you know when the guys young, they get thrown out there and they exactly. have to figure it out. And then you have situations like, you know, Aaron Rodgers and some other guys who to wait it out. had to wait it out and wait their turn. And, and honestly, I, I see I see positive in both. And and with that, you know, I, I do think there's something to be said if you can continue to learn. Mm -hmm. And when you get the opportunity to go out and practice, um, you know, do what you have to do to get a chance to preseason, do what you have to do. And, and when that time comes, you know, you just got to make it happen. Exactly. So, but either way it goes, you're going to get a chance at some point in time. That's so. true. That's true. I do got to ask you though so obviously you're one of the most feared linebackers in your days uh, a lot of people were scared of you tackling them hitting them blindside them whatever <laughs> but who was someone that like damn I got to tackle this guy today who's yeah, someone yeah. that you were like I want to play this guy today yeah yeah well, well first you know it's, it was it's always uh, mentality to see the hit or be hit uh, be the hammer not the nail mm -hmm. and you know, for me, you know, I'm always up for great competition. Don't get me wrong, there's some guys who like gotta come with it today. <laughs> exactly. um, and with that being said, you know, it's not it's not few. Um, mm -hmm. very few if ever. I've been like, fuck, you know, we gotta <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to play this person, but you know, it's never really been that. It was more so like, all right, well, it's, if you want to be the best, you got to play against the best. Mm -hmm. So that being said, you know, I, I was fortunate enough to play against some amazing running backs, some offensive guards, um, you know, some fullbacks, and running backs, you know, would be Steven Jackson. You know, that was, Steven that was, that was Jackson. My, you know, coming to the league in 2007, he was in my yep. division, and i never forget, you know, watching him in college and then seeing him in a closing down yeah, playing against him. And he was, you know, big, stiff arm. Fat. Shift, yeah, he can move uh, him, and then obviously, you know, going against Marshawn uh, when he came over to our division. Yeah, so I mean, it's it been some um, some great competition. Man. That's awesome. very fortunate. So. That's dope. I'll leave you with one last question. What's your favorite memory playing in the NFL? I know you're in the Super Bowl. <laughs> what? What? Obviously, I didn't come out on top, but what's yeah, your favorite yeah. memory from your playing days? Man, you know, uh, I wish I could just say one. I would say each and every day I had the opportunity to go out and, and, yeah, and perform. It um, was amazing. Um, you know, I will say it was it was truly amazing. My first ever um, actual football game like, well, against the Cardinals so it was my first start in 2007. A little nervous? Yeah, I was. <laughs> uh, um, no, you know what? Now I think about it. It would probably have been the day. It actually wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't a regular season game. It was a day that uh, Mike Singletary called me. Uh, I was walking past him in the facility. And he said, "Pat, I want to talk to you." And I'm like, I ain't did nothing. You know, I'm like, why you want to talk to me already? Cause the meeting ain't started yet. You know, why you want you know calling me? Um, and he so he calls me and uh, you know I call him. We go into the meeting room and we sit down. I'm like, oh, shush, what's, you know, what's he about to tell me? You know, I don't know what's going on. And he said, uh, Pat, he's starting this week. And I said, in my heart, I feel like when he You're said racing? it, yeah, I, I, I feel like I had an out of body experience when he said it. I was like, 
class. Because awesome. I've always taken great, I've always taken great pride in, in learning and wanting to be ready when that time comes. And you know, I always try to prepare myself for it. But you know, when it actually when it happened, you know, what I was like, oh shit, well, that's awesome. I guess it's time. So yeah, it was that moment, and then going out and playing that, starting that preseason game against the Chicago Bears, and playing every snap on offense. I mean, sorry, playing every snap on defense mm -hmm. and special teams, and getting and making it happen. So that's dope, man. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate your time. Appreciate I appreciate it. you, man. Congrats, yeah. you just made the Hall of Fame, right? Uh, you're no, about no, to. You're, no, you're no, gone. Yeah, yeah, you should have been a first ballot. Maybe one day. You should have been. No, no, no. You will. You will. <laughs> I appreciate it, my no, man. I appreciate All right? it. God, God bless and have a good one. Thank you. Thank you, bro.